Chancellor of UET Lahore, Professor Dr. Saeed Mansour Sardwar, for the opening speech of today's conference. Please, sir. Auzubillahi min shaitan ar-rajim, bismillahir rahmanir rahim. Rabbish rahli sadri wa yassir li amri wa ahlul uqtatam min lisani yafqahu qawli. Respected Dean, Faculty of Civil Engineering, Professor Dr. Abibur Rahman, Advisor to Vapta, Engineer Shahid Hamid Saab, Keynote Speakers from NESPAC, NAST, Federal Flood Commission, and Ravi Urban Development Authority, Director Center of Excellence, Professor Dr. Noor Muhammad Khan, Faculty Members, Students, Conference Participants, Ladies and Gentlemen, Assalamu Alaikum, and a very warm good morning. It is my profound privilege to be part of the second International Conference on Sustainable Water Resources Management, organized by the Center at the University of Engineering and Technology, Lahore. It is indeed a need of time to emphasize the importance of sustainable development and sustainable management of our natural resources, including water resources. Uh, I, I apologize. I think I was uh, the camera was off. <clears throat> now, the, before I uh, begin my actual uh, speech, I just want to narrate a hadith of Prophet Sallam that uh, once he was passing by and he asked uh, somebody called Saad. What is this extravagance? And Saad was performing evolution, wuzu. Saad said, is there extravagance with water in evolution? The Holy Prophet وسلم, said, yes, even if you were on the banks of a floating river. So this is the, the value of water that our, our beloved Prophet has given us. And we must keep that in mind in, you know, every time we use water. Dear participants, the sustainability related issues are affecting many of our major water resource projects, including large dams and reservoirs. The Bela Dam, just for an example, is losing its main function of water storage due to sedimentation in its reservoir. Same is the case with the Varsak Dam and to some extent with Mangla and Chashma reservoirs as well. Sustainability issues are further aggravated due to changing nature of our climate that is difficult to be predicted in the context of various possible socioeconomic development scenarios. As such, I must appreciate the efforts of Center that has highlighted this very important issue of sustainable water resources management through a series of conferences. Water resources importance for socioeconomic well-being of the societies and the countries is well known to the people and it has always remained central to the de development agenda of nations. Recently promulgated National Water Policy of 2018 has given direction to the water managers of the country to resolve the water issues on fast track basis, including enhancement of water storages, reduction of water losses in the system, use of modern technologies for better water management, and improving the share of hydropower in energy mix of the country. The National Water Policy has also devised a National Water Council for better managing the national level conflicting issues, but need is there to activate the council in letter and spirit which has only been convened once or twice in the last four years. Universities and research centers can play their role in the after policy era for better implementation of such policies. Through this conference, I would also like to like the attention of our research community towards looming problem of groundwater table decline, especially in urban environment and groundwater quality depletion in irrigation systems, in irrigated areas. The rapid decline of water in Lahore, ranging from two to three feet per year and 10 to 15 feet in some parts of Balochistan cannot be ignored and effective solutions are demanded 
from the research community. I must mention here that in the 1980s, early 1980s, the water, the brackish water was available at 45 feet in Lahore. After 40 years last year, it was available at 155 feet. And the clean portable water 40 years ago was available at 200 feet. And now the latest study has shown that it actually is available not at 800 or 900, but 1300 feet. So this is the gravity of losing the, you know, the lowering the table of water in Lahore. I'm sure some of the research papers in the conference will highlight this issue and we will be able to put forward sustainable solutions to it. The groundwater problems need more focus of the researchers in this very year of 2022, as the theme of this year World Water Day was groundwater making the invisible visible. Dear participants, I cannot resist mentioning the havoc played by the recent flood in 2022 in Pakistan. We have lost more than 1,700 lives, <clears throat> more than 11 lakh livestock, and approximately 30, 33 billion US dollars damages to cross. Attribute this lot to, to the changing and shifting climate of the world for which the root cause is global warming. Although Pakistan is suffering from the consequences of global warming created by the de developed nations, but we cannot ignore our unplanned development habits that has caused the encroachment and blockage of nullas and rivers, resulting in huge loss of lives and financial losses. We need to mend our ways of unplanned development, especially in respect of land use policy and its effective implementation for which the research community must play its role to highlight this issue to the larger public. Another challenge to sustainable management of water of a nation is its shyness to adapt new technologies and modern tools. Use of remote sensing, ge geographical information systems, satellite-based rainfall measurements, high efficiency irrigation systems, optimized allocation through system analyses, optimized cropping patterns in changing climate are some of the modern ways that can be researched and emphasized by the water experts like yourselves. I'm happy to inform you that University of Engineering and Technology is playing its part effectively through its water-related departments, such as Civil Engineering Department, Center of Excellence in Water Resources Engineering, and Institute of Environment Engineering and Research. The research produced in the form of theses, dissertations, research reports, re research papers in conferences and journals are available through its online libraries and databases. This is a continuous endeavor and all my support is available to the faculty and staff in this, in this respect. I'm aware of the efforts being made by the centers, faculty and management in respect of enhancing its capabilities in recent past, that has resulted in enhancement of faculty members, procurement of lab equipment, winning competitive research grants, and enhancing visibility of the center in water circle in, of the country and the region as well. I emphasize that such good efforts should be further intensified through passionate and well-planned activities as the water challenges are huge and so should be the response in size and intensity. I must uh, also advise the center and other experts that they should work on winning more competitive grants, not only nationally, but internationally, and develop international networks, which would greatly help the, the issue that we are addressing today, and we will continue to address it in future also. Finally, I extend sincere gratitude to all the key keynote speakers, presenters, and participants of the second national conference for sparing their time and joining this very important event. The discussion and research shared in this conference will help draft guidelines for water managers, especially for the Ministry of Water Resources and Irrigation Departments, WAPDA, and, and other such uh, entities in the country for better and sustainable water management in the country. Last but not the least, I would like to acknowledge the efforts of the Director, Center of Excellence, and all the organizing team of the conference for arranging this wonderful event 
and I hope they will continue to organize similar events in the in future also. Thank you all for your patient hearing. Allah Hafiz. Thank you very much, sir, for your influential